Well, hello again there, webheads and comic collectors everywhere. This is your Instagram friend, fan of Comic 77. Be sure to follow on YouTube as well. And today's a little post on a topic I saw on social media on what are your favorite books in your collection would you cherish and which ones do you not do you see not getting rid of at all well in my, in my hunting days as of now um, I don't have Spidey you know 121 122 Spidey 129 Spidey 300 or any of those major key issues not yet but I will what I will show you is our comics that I cherish in my collection that mean a lot to me that I probably won't ever get rid of. Well, the first one I'm going to show you is Amazing Spidey 123. First Luke Cage crossover. Now this one is very true to my heart because it was the first time I ever spent over 20 bucks. Say over almost 25 bucks. Now in the beginning of comic collecting you know I would spend 10 bucks on dollar issues so you get 10 issues 10 bucks 15 issues 15 bucks so I thought to myself do I spend 15 bucks on 15 comics or do I spend 15 bucks on a cool key issue so I pulled the trigger on this one and I felt good about it but the second part of it was explaining it to my wife and when I, and I had to tell her how much I spent you know, so she asked me, you know, how much did you spend? And I tell her, well, I spent over 20. No, and she didn't hit me. So I was in the clear. So I figured that was my, that was my uh, stepping stone there. That was the, the, the bar, the par level. So as the hunt continues and the collecting continues, I ran across Amazing Spidey 301. A very fine copy. Nothing big, nothing special, but for me, it means a lot. Another one I came across that I started putting in top loaders now was uh, Spectacular Spidey 90. First black suit appearance in the Spectacular Spider-Man series. This one is means a lot to me. Uh, it was one on my list so I can complete the four issue black suit series, which we'll talk about later. So what's this one? Another one that's part of the Black Suit series debut was Marvel Team Up 141. Spidey and Daredevil. Uh, Black Suit debut in uh, this, this storyline. So that's number two of the four. Another one that was, was very special to me. Nothing big. But fellow Spidey and Webheads alike will agree that this is probably one of their favorite covers as well. Web of Spidey, or Web of number one. None big, none special, but it's a number one. So for all you new comic collectors out there, anytime you're trying to collect something, if it's a number one, snag it. Another one that I personally enjoy was Ultimate Fallout number four. First appearance of Miles Morales. And this one I posted on a previous post a while back. And remember, half the face see the whole face second print you see half the face then it's first print we'll so snag this one another one that was very dear to me that I got on Father's Day Spectacular Spidey number one featuring Tarantula I've always liked Tarantula as a villain as a kid I always felt ooh spider versus spider who would win well we all know the webhead will win another one I hold dear to my heart nothing special with the second appearance of Rhino himself, Spidey 43. I don't have 41 either, but I will. And of course, it's all about the thrill of the hunt. So the last two I'm going to show you are very, very dear to me. These are the ones that uh, when I started getting, or started building up to the collecting world as far as key issues, um, appearances, when I started to figure out the lingo, uh, these two added uh, street cred, as they say, to, to my collection. So they, uh, they offered, they gave me comic cred, so to speak. And one, one I'm talking about is by 252, Black Suit Debut. This one's very special to me. 
I also got this one on my birthday, I believe. So this was a cool present. And I love this one. And the last one I'm going to show you was the very first comic that started to give my collection a name that was worth something. And it was on Christmas. And it was Spidey, or not, I'm sorry, Secret Wars number 8, Black Sea debut. This was my very, 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 very first major key issue in my collection, and I will always cherish this one. So this one's pretty cool. And, if, and it also goes with what we talked about earlier, the four issue combo of the Black Seed series. So you got Secret Wars 8, Spidey 252, Marvel Team 141, and Spec 90. All Black Suit debuts. So I'll just a little tip for all you comic, new comic collectors out there. So that's about it, Webheads. Just a quick little post on what I cherish in my collection. I'm sure all of you guys out there cherish your collection just as much as I do. Whatever you collect, whatever you choose to enjoy. DC, Marvel, Image. Enjoy it. Collect it. And be proud of it. So as always, webheads, comic collectors everywhere. Be good to each other. Happy ending.